Hey everybody, my name is Seedtop and welcome to my top 5 games for 2014. I will be giving a quick overview of each title as well as my opinion on the game itself. Number 1, Gauntlet. A modern reboot of my all time favorite arcade game. Countless quarters were spent struggling through this game on my local pizza joint. Apparently, there was also a PlayStation 2 release back in the day, but I never had the chance to play that. Uh, this procedurally generated top-down dungeon crawler was a blast to play with friends and felt fleshed out enough to receive one of the top spots on my Game of the Year list. Although it was a short game, I enjoyed every action-packed minute of the experience. Number 2, Planetary Annihilation. While this game was in early access for well over a year, it finally saw full release this September. It was until this release that I began to experience and appreciate the game for what it really was, a highly tense and competitive strategy game. Every second counts in this RTS and you cannot stop building units and gathering resources for one second without risking annihilation. Plus you get to smash planets into each other, now who doesn't love that? Number 3, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Oh god, I love this game. I freaking love it. As someone who had never played the original, this game came quite as a surprise to me. I had seen tons of videos of it online, and many of my friends played it even on their channels. It wasn't until I began playing it that I finally understood the appeal. The way the seemingly infinite items and powers combine together to make every unique run feel unique. In the first week I owned this game, I believe I played for over 20 hours. It's the kind of game where you die, you get that sudden downfall of frustration and sadness that you lost that awesome run, but then you get super excited because you get to dive right back in. This game is a masterpiece of the indie gaming world and everyone should play it. Number 4, Alien Isolation. As a huge fan of the original Ridley Scott masterpiece, I was overly excited for this title. After the disappointment of some of the previous games in this franchise, I was cautiously optimistic. This doesn't mean I didn't break down immediately and buy it on release day. Thankfully, Alien Isolation delivered. The incredible detail and atmosphere in the title make it one of the most unique gaming experiences I have ever had the pleasure to enjoy. This is probably the only video game adaptation from a movie that has been anything other than a poor developed cash grab. I have never been more excited and terrified to be hunted down like an animal while crawling through the air decks of a derelict space station. Also, screw you, Working Joe. Number 5, Banished. Is this one really a surprise? The quality and beauty of this game are only surpassed by the fact that it was entirely developed by one man. It is incredibly apparent that the developer poured his heart and soul into this title. With the poor quality of recently released city building simulators, Banished, with a Banished was a breath of fresh air. It does an excellent job providing a challenge as you struggle to protect your villagers from the elements and starvation. This coupled with the aesthetic beauty of the forest, rivers, and trees makes Banished one of my all-time favorite games. So thank you guys for joining me for one of my quick top five games of the year again in no particular order just games i enjoyed and wanted to give my quick opinion on uh what were you guys favorite games this year let me know in the comments below and i'll see you guys next time